So secondly, health also functions as an input into production in the Grossman model. It's an input into the production of health and also into the production of time, productive time. So health and home good is Z have to be produced. The individual produces their health and their fun um, using time and market inputs. So H sub T, health in a particular time period, T equals health as a function of H T minus one, so prior period health, you know, your beginning state of health. Um, the time that you spend investing in your health and some M market inputs, uh, weights or a treadmill. Z sub T, so your fun or non-health utility in a time in a given time period T, equals Z as a function of your time spent in those activities of fun and non-health utility, uh, and also market inputs to that. So video games, opera tickets, paints, whatever you're into. So. Just to reiterate, today's health, H of T, depends on yesterday's health, H T minus one. This reflects health's role as a stock, um, which we'll talk about next. Uh, but first, health in its role as a productive, as a uh, input into the production of time and um, and utility. So health affects production by lowering the time that you spend being sick. So T of P, um, productive time, it's basically just your total time minus your sick time. So theta, which is total time, minus TS, time spent sick. So T of P equals the sum of the time you spend working, the time you spend on utility of non-health, and the time you spend investing in your health. The healthier you are, the less time you spend sick. Uh, productive time is spent on these kinds of useful activities. And when you get more productive time because you have less time being sick, you can allocate that towards uh, health or towards work or towards fun as you see fit. Uh, and the only way to reduce sick time and on the corollary to increase your productive time is to improve your health. So you might be familiar with the production possibility frontier. Um, if not, you can check out the link uh, in the video to the Khan Academy uh, kind of tutorial about production possibility frontiers. Usually it looks the way that this picture looks here. Um, it's kind of the standard trade-off between oftentimes people say guns and butter or just two different things. You know, you can have, uh, you can allocate between two things. It's a trade-off. Um, but, and, and so one thing you'll notice here is that it's curved rather than straight because at a certain point, as you're moving closer and closer towards one, you're getting, you're going to get less and less out of, uh, Z when you already have so much of it, um, compared to what you could have from H. That's the kind of the standard production possibility frontier trade-off. Check out the video if you're not familiar. Um, but it doesn't perfectly apply to this scenario with the Grossman model. Why? Because um, you can't exactly have zero H. If you have zero health, you're dead. So you can't have any Z if you're dead. So there is a minimum amount of H that's greater than zero. In fact, um, so that's kind of what this graph shows here. The minimum amount of H that is greater than zero, um, it is to the right of the zero on the x-axis of H, um, but still at that minimum point of H, you're getting no Z, and you have no productive time, really, to allocate towards anything. It's just, you're just not dead. Okay, so if you decide to invest a little bit more in your H, you're getting a lot more on the y-axis of Z back. This is why this area is called the free lunch zone. Investing just a little bit more in your health can yield really large increases in your total productive time. So you can increase Z without 
having to give up H at that point. That's why it's called a free lunch. Point C is where you're maximizing your level of Z. So on this curve, like the, the point along this curve, um, where you have the highest amount of Z is at the top of the curve, so represented by the point of C. You can't increase in H without decreasing somewhat in Z. So if you do try to increase Z by shifting some of your resources, time, money towards health and um, towards fun and away from health, you're going to actually lose some Z too. At the same time, if you decide to invest further in H in your health, it won't be for the purpose of getting more Z. Um, it's not going to produce enough additional health to completely outweigh what you have to allocate towards it. Point D is the trade-off zone. So it's, you know, the opposite of B. The, the point here that at this point, any more that you do decide to invest in H, you're going to get large reductions in Z. So you can do so, you can invest in your health here, but you will have to give away some Z, some fun. Point E is where you're allocating absolutely everything you possibly could, all of your resources, money, and time towards your health and no, nothing at all towards fun or like anything else. So it's possible, but you know why. So the optimal levels of H and Z are probably going to be somewhere between C and E. We'll pick up here in the next video.